Wow. Never thought I'd be out up this late in the night doing this again. And so soon after the last major wrestling legend's death, I just found out now that yes, that yesterday, more or less, recent WWE Hall of Fame inductee Warrior, originally birth name James Helwig, stage name the Ultimate Warrior, suddenly passed away. He was 54 years old. He collapsed in Arizona. My guess, probably some of the after side effects of HGH is what killed him. That's only a guess. Warrior, I mean, Jim or the Warrior, we all know, he started out as the Dingo Warrior with Sting in the Southern Promotions. Before they went their own separate paths, Sting going to NWA, WCW, Warrior going to, at the time, the World Wrestling Federation. Known for the iconic war paint, incoherent, random babbling promo, and promos of random um, and baffling banter. He had some of the greatest matches of the 80s, of the rock and wrestling era. The ones I remember the most were his title for title match. Title versus title match against Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6. And his, the retirement match he had against Randy Savage at WrestleMania 7. And the rematch they would have at SummerSlam 92 for the World Wrestling Federation title when Savage went in as the champion. That said, I think he was a little too caught up in his own character when he left. Yeah, at one point, he, he, at the time he bounced around. At the time he was coming in and out of the company. That said, the greatest light, one of the one of the strongest burning stars. From the des from destinations in parts unknown, and I'm doing this the way Warrior would have done it. I mean, Jim would have done it. Has sadly and suddenly gone out. Just days after taking his spot in the Hall of Fame, in the WWE Hall of Fame. Which begs the question, if Vince could do this for the Warrior before his death, why couldn't he do this for Savage? Why couldn't he induct Savage into the Hall of Fame before his death? And keep in mind, we're nearing three years since the death of the... Mo we're nearing three years ago, that's been three years since the death of the Macho Man. And like Macho, the Ultimate Warrior, he'll off, he's often been imitated, but you can never truly duplicate him. With that said, I'm devastated that a guy who was from my early toddler years to my most recent memories of a re most recognized as memory of the guy as a wrestling fan myself is no more. He is no longer with us. Why did it have to be Jim? 
In any case, he's survived by his mother, his wife Dana, their two daughters, his sister, and his brothers. So, Jim, rest in peace, my friend. We'll see you soon. However I want it.